Welcome. In this section, we are going to continue talking about JPA, or the Java Persistence API. Specifically, we are going to talk about entity relationships. Okay, we'll talk about database referential integrity in general. Then we'll explain what entity relationships are, and we'll see the annotations that allow us to create entity relationships. Okay, so let's take a look at the sample database that comes with NetBeans. This is a diagram with all the tables in it. Notice these lines joining tables. Those lines are for referential integrity or foreign keys. Like for example, a customer can have uh, one or more purchase orders and a purchase order can have only one customer. So there is a foreign key column that is pointing to the customer table, to the primary key. So if we try to delete a row from the customer table and there is any row in purchase order that has that primary key that we're trying to delete, the database will stop us. We won't be able to delete it. So that's what is called referential integrity. Also, this creates what is called a one too many relationship. I briefly touch upon that one customer and many purchase orders. Now the challenge that we need to address is how to map this in the JPA entities to Java code. Now fortunately JPA comes with some annotations that allow us to create these kinds of relationships in our code. Remember from our previous lesson that we had all the JPA entities for these tables generated and NetBeans is smart enough to notice these relationships and it adds the annotations automatically for us. Like we were just talking that the customer table or the customer class that maps to it has many purchase orders. For example, let's search for, there we go. Here we have the one to many annotation and it's a collection because there could be many purchase orders. Cascade type equals to all means that all operations done on this class will go and be done on the other side of the relationship, the purchase order class. This map by customer ID is the name of the property on the other side of the relationship. So let's take a look at purchase order. order ID somewhere around here. Maybe not. Oh, it was customer ID. Here is the other side of the relationship. As we can see, we have the many to one annotation and we have a variable of type customer, which is the one side of the relationship. So this is how we map these one to many and many to one relationships in JPA. There's also a one-to-one -one annotation, but that is very rare to see that in a database because it breaks normalization, but it does exist. So I'm pointing it out uh, just so you guys know that it exists. And there is a many-to-many -many annotation as well. In a database, when we have a many-to-many -many relationship, we need to have a join table. The sample database does not have any many-to-many relationships so none got generated for our example but if you guys want to learn more about it there's information out there online or you can purchase my java ee with netbeans book and that is explained there so that's it for entity relationships in the next lesson we'll see how we can generate a whole application from JPA entities, a whole web application using JSF, and we'll see how we can actually update the database uh, using JPA code. So I'll see you then.